In this group review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software group. If you have any questions, please comment them down below, and I'll also be sure to leave a discounted link down there so you can always get your money's worth for group. Group is a software that can help share documents and video files with ease. This is what you should see once you've either created your account or logged in. You should land up on this dashboard page, and there's pretty much a lot going on so far. However, in this review, I'm going to quickly go over every feature. And then throughout the review, I'm going to dive deeper into each feature. So straight off the bat, in the top left hand corner, you have this section right here. This should say your name. Once you click on that, you can see that it says your plan. Right now, we're on the free plan and not any paid subscription. Below that, you can go ahead and rename your team. And then below that, you can actually see any team members. And then finally, below that, you can actually upgrade your plan. You also have this little section right here, add new team, if you want to go ahead and actually add a new team. And then you can also rename it once you've actually done that as well. Right below that, you can actually see you've either got files or showcase. If we are to go into the file section, it does change this part right here. And then you've also got quick file share and new from template. All the way at the bottom, you have a little help section right here if you want to go ahead and type any questions. And then right down here, you can actually collapse this page right here. To the right in this main area, you've got the main area. This is the dashboard page. You can actually share your files in the flash with this software. All you have to do is drag and drop your files right here where it says as your files or select from uploaded content. And then you can go ahead and choose your background with this second option right here. Brand it with the third option right here. And then add some info with this option. All the way in the top right, you have the upgrade now as well, right over here. And then just more of your account settings if you want to go ahead and click on that. You can edit your user profile or even log out. Next, back to this section on the left, you want to go ahead and click on the files. And then there's this section over here. I'm going to quickly go through this as well. Below that, you can add a folder if you wish by just clicking this part right here. And then right here, there is the upload section where you can actually add files right here, add a web link or even add your section. You can go ahead and open up this section right here by clicking this little arrow. And this is just a folder overview where you can actually see all of your folders. So once you go ahead and click add folder, let's say we want to go ahead and add a folder, you'd click this button right here. Once you've clicked it, this little page should open up and it should say add folder and you can invite people by selecting this option right here, but we don't actually have any people to invite. Right below that, you have your folder details by putting your name and a description. And then once you've actually done that, you can go ahead and create your folder. So we're just going to go ahead and fill that in really quick. I went ahead and just named it folder one and then I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing right there once you've done that you can go ahead down into the bottom right and click create folder and there you go it should create your folder as you see it's on the left hand side now and if you click on this little arrow you can go ahead and either rename your folder change the folder members pin it or even archive it once you clicked on your folder or even upload section you can go ahead to the right and click add files this is where you can actually import any files you want to upload just by selecting files to upload right here once you've selected it, it should bring up your computer's selection menu where you can go through your files and add whatever files you want. Or if you have files opened up on your computer already, you can easily just drag and drop. To the left, you can see you can either add files from my device, box, Google Drive, or even your OneDrive. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a file here that we can add into the review. I went ahead and just added a random file. This is actually the file for the intro for this review. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and click upload right there and it should upload your file. And you can see there is me in the intro for the review. You can go ahead and click on that, go through it. You can actually rename it, which we're going to do. There you go. I named it intro. And once you've named it intro, you can go ahead and click save. You can also go ahead and add a description if you wish, but we're not going to do that because we don't actually need a description right now. And then if you click these three dots, you can update it or even remove the file. Next, moving on, you can actually add a web link by just clicking that up there. And again, it's pretty simplistic, the web link section. It should open up this page right here and all you have to do is go ahead and paste your website address. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and just click add web link. To the right of that, you can also click add a section right here. And by clicking that, it adds a section and you can just go ahead and name it in this section right here. We're gonna go ahead and just name it file two. And there you go, it adds this little section down here where you can go ahead and add any files down here in the new section. You can also hover over it and it opens up and you can also edit it by clicking that button. You can change the name, save it, or even bin it by this little icon right here. If you have more files right here, like I've just typed in now, 
you can actually go ahead and flip these around in order if you like. So if you have any certain files in a certain order, you can actually go ahead and change them in any order you want to with group, which is a pretty cool feature on this software if I do say so myself. However, we don't need that right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and click remove, and it should say remove section. Are you sure you want to delete the section file three? And I'm gonna go ahead and click confirm. Once you've done that, it should have the file deleted. Next, moving on to this section right here, this is actually the users section. This is where you can actually assign who actually is able to use the section by clicking this little add dot right here. Once you click that, it should open up this page. And as you can see, it says add users and you can go ahead and select the users you want to add. However, we don't have anyone again, so I'm not gonna do that, I'm just showing the features. Right down here, it should say who is the owner and who is just added to the folder and whoever created it should automatically be the owner. Once you run through that, you can go ahead and just click done. All the way back to the showcase section right up here, you can see that you can also share your files in a flash. I'm gonna go ahead and upload the same file I did before, and then I'm gonna run through these features. Once you've clicked it to upload, it should take a few seconds to upload, as you can see with this blue bar right here. And then there you go, it should have the actual file down here with what it has been named on your computer and you can actually add any optional descriptions. If you want to go ahead and remove any files, there should be a little red remove sign right below that, and you can go ahead and just click that. Next, you can go ahead and choose your background with the second option right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just choose any of these. Let's just go with this one, just for the sake of it. And then for number three, you can go ahead and also upload a logo. Once you click it, it should open up this same section right here where you can actually go and select the logo, which I'm not gonna do because I don't actually have a logo to upload. Finally, the fourth and final section, it should say add some info. You can go ahead and add your showcase name, which is visible to viewers, right here by adding your showcase name. You can also add an introduction heading and an introduction description if you wish. Once you've went ahead and typed all this in and done it to your liking, you can go ahead and click I'm done, let's see it. Once you've gone ahead and clicked let's see it, it should open up this right here as you can see my face right there rubbing my lip. This section is just a quick preview of how it will be showcased with your background and your actual file and then you can go ahead up here into the top right and click share showcase. You can also to the right of that see any insights that you have for the file. Down here there is also another button to share the showcase it all pretty much does the same thing. And that is it for the group review. And there you go, that is the group review. Overall, it's a great software and a great way of sharing and saving files. It is really easy to use, there is not too much going on. So for any beginners needing to have a way to share files with their friends or their teams, it is a perfect software to do so. A few features I liked is how easy it is to upload files and create folders and it's easy to add team members and share it to other people. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I would. It's a great software, again, for businesses or teams. Overall, I do think it is a great software and I would use it myself. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.